Hi guys, this is Fabiana from creativeswimwear.com Today I'm teaching you how to make this crochet top with this um, red and white uh, pattern Okay, I make it uh, exchanging colors so I, we're gonna work with two colors the whole way and um, for this part, for this uh, bikini top, and I made the bottom as well. I used the um, the yarn fixation, which is this one. Fixation is a yarn made in Brazil by Circo, but he sold by Cascade Yarns in America. And the reason why I use this yarn is because I tried this uh, to make this type of work with the four ply cotton yarn, but it didn't really work well because as you can see here, I have to work the um, second collar underneath it. And so this, um, this uh, yarn shows much less than the other one. With the four ply, you could actually see the whole way. See on this one, you can't really tell there's a color going on here. And using the other four ply yarn that, that I normally use, you could actually see it. So, and I didn't like it. So I tried with this fixation yarn and it worked really well, I think. It's quite perfect. You can barely tell there's another color going on behind it. So um, fixation white white yarn and fixation the uh, red yarn as well. There's only one red there uh, in their color. So I'm gonna put the descript on the description below the link to buy it if I can find one. But there's a lot of um, yarn shops in America that sell it. And it's elastic as well. See? So the bikini it's like more this way. It's actually elastic. Okay, so... Um, like my video if you enjoyed this pattern. And subscribe to my channel because that helps me a lot to keep making videos for you guys every week. I really enjoy teaching different swimwear because that's what I like to make. And um, so let's start making this one. And then the next project is going to be the bottom of it. Okay. Using for this top is the fixation yarn white, as I said, and the red. So I only have a few a little bits left, but it's only one. There's only one red in their colorways for um, for this brand. And the um, hook is 2.1 millimeters hook number zero. You could probably go all the way to two point four, five, maybe, but the project would probably get it look a little uh, bigger than, than mine, so be aware of that. And I'm not using lining this time, but if you want to use lining for this bikini, uh, uh, the best yarn to, the, the best lining to use would be lycra or polyamide lining one of any of them would be good because they are it's a type of fabric that dries really fast and so it's the best one to use and you can stitch right here uh, on the bottom and make sure you stitch the lining with um, the same color you are using to make this pattern so i would use white with the white lining for this one. Okay, so let's start this project. Let's start making right this crochet top. I'm going to start with a slip knot and then 37 chains. After I made the 37 chains, I'm going to make a double crochet in the fourth chain from the hook. So one, two, 
three stitches and in the fourth one I'm going to make a double crochet. So make seven and then we're gonna change to the white color. So I always count my chains as a double crochet and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So number seven, you will leave it unfinished like this because right now we're gonna add the white color. Okay, so put the yarn over the hook and pull it through here and then pull slightly your red color. And then we're gonna make a normal double crochet here in this next chain but with the tail of the white one and the red behind so you're gonna work on top of it. So here you go, both are inside my double crochet. So I'm going to make seven again. So I'm making seven double crochet squares. Three. Four. Six. and then you can put the tail to the back you don't want to cover it anymore pull it a bit and put it to the back and seven so the seven again I don't finish the stitch because I'm going to swap for the red so I'm on the front of my work and I like to always swap the colors but with the red on the back of it because I don't want the red to show and but before that make sure you always pull a bit here so it's not you can't really see on the back there and leave the white underneath it So I made seven more stitches here, two, four, six, and when I got to the stitch number seven, you just make halfway, you make it the stitch halfway so you can put the white through and then start working with the white and covering this red here. So one, one double crochet in each chain, okay, three, four, five, six, seven and then I'm going to change to the red one again so the head red through and on and this time because I'm going to go all the way to the end with the red and come back again on the next row with the red as well I'm going to leave the white here and not um, double crochet on top of it this time. So one, two, five. 
five, six, seven, and then two chains, and I'm going to turn my work and repeat these same seven chains, seven double crochets here, three, four, five, six, and the seventh one, I, I stop the stitch in the middle, halfway, and then the white, I'm going to put Put the white all the way there, here, and a yarn over, and then to make the next double crochet, I'm just gonna put it through here, and so this way this little piece of yarn doesn't doesn't look funny on the other side. So that's the way I did it here through here and then just make a double crochet like you normally do. Make sure the the red yarn is underneath so you're making the double crochets right on top of it so you can use it on the next color change. Because this yarn is a bit stretchy uh, make sure you always pull the yarn a little bit before you change the color. So here we are going to change the color again. So stop in the middle of the stitch and then here as you can see I'm going to have to pull this. Now it looks perfect. And that's one of the reasons why I'm using this yarn is because I tried other yarns. I tried the 100% um, cotton one for ply that I normally use, but you would, you could fully see the the stitch, the um, other yarn on the back, on the uh, inside it. You know what I mean? And with this one, it looks just really good anyway now I change to the red and I'm going to make seven with the red so you do this all the way to the end here and then one more row and then we're gonna change the colors so now after I'm finishing this third row here and now I'm going to have to make this on this last row because I'm going to change, swap the colors for the next row. So here I'm going to put the white underneath on this end of the row. So you need the white to go all the way to the end so you can change to white on your next row. So here you're gonna do the same thing we were doing before. Pull it, pull it a bit to make sure it's not um, it's not showing on the back. Okay, and now before we finish the last stitch here, we're gonna pull the white through and then make two chains to turn. So this is the right side of our of our top. We're going to the wrong side and see here I have this yarn loose so I'm just gonna pull it like this and here as well we will have to make two double crochets together because we are gonna, are gonna start decreasing to make the triangle shape so here I have one 
two, my two chains and then I'm going to put the hook from this next one and make it halfway yarn over and this next one another half double crochet so that's gonna give us um, the um, decreasing we need so that's one uh, double crochet that's the my two chains that count as a double crochet and these two other double crochets count as one because we need to decrease to start making our triangle shape so now all the rest of your top we're gonna make oops we're gonna make one double crochet each double crochet from before so we are we will be just decreasing stitches on both ends okay so one here and one on the other side so and also we're gonna be swapping the colors because we want to make that pattern so here put the red through one thing you always have to make sure you pull this yarn a bit before you start it okay and now i'm gonna put the white here underneath and start working on top of the white don't worry too much while you're covering because you can always pull it later And so work this row all the way to the end and at the end make one stitch less as well and this end here you can um, you can leave the red like this and then work just with the white and then at the end we'll be making only one stitch here instead of two that we had before on this next row you're gonna start with two chains and turn your work here we are going to make two double crochets together so one two together and all the rest are normal you're gonna repeat this row same way we did before always decreasing one stitch at the end and another one on the beginning okay and here at the end we're we'll be just working with the white again leave the red behind and one two three four five stitches always make sure you have the same number of white here and here okay so one two three four five and five so next row two chains and two double crochets together again and then repeat the same thing from before here I'm gonna grab my red and do the same thing we did with that white before pull it all the way from down under to the top there and then behind the yarn there and on top of the white 
never forget you that this this second color has to run underneath your double crochet because otherwise you're gonna have something like that on the back like you know so you have to hide it while you make this pattern always pull a bit here make sure it's not showing and then change the color so repeat the, that all the way to the end and then we're gonna swap colors on the next row okay. we are going to run the red underneath because on the next row we'll be making a few red stitches there we'll be swapping the colors again so every three rows and every seven stitches we swap and we swap colors. So here make it halfway and then the red from two and here we are on the front so make sure this is going on the back this time and underneath here because you're gonna work on top of it so one and two double crochets together and then one more here and we're gonna change to the white color put the red inside there and repeat that all the way to the end swapping the colors and decreasing one stitch at the end as well now this next row here I'm going to already made my two chains going to make two double crochets together and then at the end here I'll have to change swap colors so I'm going to work with the white here and then so I have the white on the right place here So you make two together and put the white straight away inside that two double crochets together you had there. Because we need to keep decreasing to make that triangle shape we need for the bikini. Decreasing, I said. Yeah. Decreasing. So yeah, repeat the same thing on the other side. And then I'm going to show you how we start the next row. I'm going to show you just the start and the end of each row because that's the most difficult part. All the rest we just repeat the same thing. Oops, here, change color again. After a while getting used to change this color and it gets really, really easy. That's the second bikini I'm making. There's another design that I'm going to make next week that um, looks really cool. I'll show you at the end. Then here we're gonna change colors again. Make sure you pull it a bit. And then so leave the white behind and make one and two here and then one two this row we are gonna just make it normal because we're gonna 
the uh, Greece teaches on the next row, okay, so uh, C, 6, 7, 8, 9, this row will not gonna decrease, otherwise it's gonna be too hard to change the colors. So we're gonna do it on the next one. So what I made was two stitches. I'm not gonna decrease nothing this time and just put the white through both of them and here grab like this and make your stitch on top of the red. So repeat the same thing all the way to the end and then we are going to the next row. Finish that last row with the same two I had here, here. And then now, because I supposed to use the red here, because I'm gonna swap colors again, so I'm going to just work two stitches here and then one two together to decrease okay and then i'm going to just put this white underneath my work pull it pull it here a bit because i'm on the back of my top i don't have to worry much about this little thing here it won't really show so i can keep going here covering my white collar and so and swapping the colors as well one more time pull it here swap and just finish with all red at the end here always decreasing one okay so you're gonna have one stitch here instead of two and then I'm gonna show you the next row after so one here. In this case, because it's, I can't really make only one white here and one white there, I had eight here and eight here, okay? And now I'm going to... I left my white here in the middle because I didn't really need that. Two chains and I'm turning my work to make two double crochets together and keep decreasing on this top to make it a triangle shape so i'm going just to repeat this the next two rows okay and then i'm gonna come back on the next row just before we swap the colors again so repeat this for three rows now always decreasing one stitch each side okay so right now i have to swap colors again i have three <clears throat> six nine twelve rows and i'm going to change colors again so i put the red around the back and then here i'm going to make two double crochets together on top of that red yarn and then keep going until we have to swap colors again and so repeat this row three times always decreasing at the ends Okay. Pull it. And I forgot to change it here. And then here you can leave the red behind 
because we will need it for this next row. And then here the crease one. So these two double crochets because they were made together they count as one. So I have one and two. And so I'm only making one because I need to decrease every single row again. And now I've made my two chains and turn the work and make two double crochets together again and swap colors so repeat that three times because we are not swapping colors we're swapping colors here but uh, we need to make three rows so two more okay so in this next row i already made i made three there and in this next row so i have three white left so put the white here the yarn uh, the put the yarn here on the back and make your two double crochets together on top of it actually before you finish them you have to put the white from so before you finish this double two double crochets together finish them with the white and then here we're going to work with the white all the way to the end all the way to to for seven stitches and then chain to the red here so leave the white behind here and work two double crochets with the red and then turn your work and then here because we need to decrease all these stitches we are going to start working straight away with our white. So I had the red here. Didn't make any chains. I'm just gonna get the white straight away because we need to decrease and we only have we need to decrease and we only have seven here so we won't need the red anymore i'm going to just work with the white from now on so just leave that red there and then here from put your hook underneath this little piece here and we're gonna make one two together and then the normal seven and then one again at the end so from here i'm going to just decrease another two here and i have one last row of these and then i can finish this little piece this little part here so here one here and then two chains turn your work and decrease two more in this row one only one here at the end and then that's it guys so this is how it looks like 
I'm going to grab the other side that I've already made, okay? And um, crochet over the top of this. But first, I'm going to make all around the top. I don't know if you can see here, but there's a single crochet row. So I'm going to single crochet all the way to here. And then I'm going to single crochet on top of this uh, strap and then single crochet all the way back and make this other strap on the top. So let's do that now. So from here, after you finish this last row here, what you do is one chain and a single crochet here and one single crochet here. So it's um, two single crochets to every row, so one in the middle of the row and one in between both rows there. So just repeat that all the way to that first corner. And then we're gonna uh, make single crochets over the top of our strap. And another reason why I'm making this single crochet row is to cover all this piece, this part, this little ends here. I don't want them to show on my on my top, so that's why I'm doing that. So just single crochet all the way to the end here. So make your last single crochet right there right at the corner there and then we're gonna grab our top so the longer part is this on this side and leave a little space even though you can move after it doesn't really matter so we are going to start single crochet on the top of this strap. This is a faster way to do this. It's really quick. And so you have here your single crochet there. So just put it underneath in between both stitches there, okay? And around the strap Yarn over and pull it back. And then one chain, skip one here, and another single crochet. One chain, skip one, another crochet, one chain, skip one here, another crochet. Or skip one, one. Repeat this one, stitch here. So I finish right here and there's just one and uh, just make two, you know, don't make the chain here and make one more here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make one chain, single crochet in this, single crochet here, so I can go up back this way with single crochet so just repeat what you did before single two single crochets to every row all the way to the top and then we're gonna make the stripes so I got right here right to the top of this triangle and then now from here I made my last chain in this second stitch, my last single crochet, and now I'm gonna go up to start this strap. And for this strap I'm making a hundred chains. So a hundred chains up, hundred chains here, and now the stitch I'm using looks like this, just because I want the strap more thick then just uh, just chains. Um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make a double crochet in the fourth 
chain from the hook so one double crochet there and then I'm going to skip one two three chains and single crochet in the fourth chain and then from here I'm going to repeat the same thing so one two I actually use two chains okay two chains one double crochet in that same chain we made the single crochet before so one double crochet here and another one two three chains skip three chains and single crochet in the fourth one so one two chains double crochet in that same chain from before and then one two three chains and single crochet in the fourth one one two chains double crochet in the same chain from before skip one two three single crochet here it's a um, very easy edging so we're gonna repeat that all the way back here and then single crochet in this second stitch here and go down again repeating this same stitch here because we're gonna make this I'm on the back here we're gonna make this same stitch we made on the strap we're gonna use as an edge for the bikini as well yeah I made um, the strap all the way back with that same edge and then here I made the last one as you can see and then one single crochet in this third stitch here or and then I'm gonna make the same edge here so one two chains one double crochet in this same single crochet um, stitch from before and then you count one two three you can make on the third one here okay so again one two chains double crochet in that same stitch you just made the single crochet and skip one two on the third one single crochet one two double crochet and skip two single crochet so repeat that all the way to the corner here and then we're gonna make single crochets on the bottom and go back the other way using the same edge the last stitch right here right on this corner and so here I'm going to start making single crochets so um, one single crochet one chain one single crochet here on top of that chain and one chain one single crochet here so I'm gonna be skipping this one and always making in this in between them or where I had the chain before and then repeat this all the way to the other corner and then you can start the edge again all the way up so repeat this all the way here and then from here you're gonna start the right on this corner and so I made single crochets all the way here and now I'm gonna start the edge again so two chains double crochet in that same stitch from before skip one two on the third one I make a single crochet two chains double crochet in that same single crochet and skip two 
another single crochet so repeat that all the way to the end here and then you can you can cut off your yarn and finish this top here with a slip knot slip stitch and now here that's how i always do so i put it through just one uh one stitch there over here and then make a knot again so I make an extra knot so this doesn't come undone because it happens all the times in crochet bikinis because you wash them so many times and then you know the knots have to be hidden very well so that's why that's how I do it I already did all the rest of them so I could show you the bikini just ready see I make the same thing here with this red one okay and so this is our bikini I really love this topping and so you can you know you can move it around you know and close it more if you wanted to this this size I would think it's more like a medium than a small for a small I think you could use because uh, to make this de design you have to work on multiples of seven because we have seven stitches so we made 35 here I reckon you could may probably make a small with seven stitches less okay so you count 35 and plus two chains more for the first the, the double crochet there and so it's you can cover make uh, uh, with 32 32 no five uh, 4 times 7, 28, so 28 plus 2, it would be 30, 30 chains to make a small and it would be 35, uh, 42, 44 to make a large, okay? And then just um, decrease the same way we did, you're gonna like for a large you're gonna have a longer um, a longer triangle which you actually need because you're making a large and for a small you have you're gonna have sort of like this you know from here to here and finishing there which is, it's gonna be a bit smaller i think this is a, um, this is a medium size we just did so if you want a small just use less chains on the beginning and multiples of seven because we have seven stitches here okay and that's it our bikini is ready i'm actually gonna use this one at the beach because i really liked it and um so i'm making the next project now i'm gonna make the bottom of this one for you guys it's gonna be with the same pattern that i made this one and i think they'll both look really nice together and so thanks for watching this video please subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment if you enjoyed making it and um, um, like my video as well thank you very much for watching see you next week